But let me uh, just mention this as an idea of where whole this uh, paradox about rigid bodies. Let me just uh, describe what this is. Um, I want you to just uh, think about this. I have a ruler, right? Let's say, imagine I'm spinning this at a particular angular velocity. Um, I don't know. Let's say one radian per second. Fairly reasonable um, duration, right? Now, this is a meter long thing. If I'm rotating this at one radian per second, what is the speed of this end point? One meter, one meter per second, right? All right. Now, can you imagine me holding a roller that's 300 million meters long, three times 10 to the eight meters, and then spinning it at the same speed of one radian per second? What's the speed of the end point? Speed of light. Speed of light. <laughs> so um, that obviously doesn't happen, right? So where is, a, where is the mistake? What went wrong? That, I mean, the, you are applying the formula you are familiar with this. Speed of the end point is the V times the angular velocity. It, you know, if you don't think I can spin at one radian per second, then I'll make it go slower. Or you know, I'll even take a longer amount of time so that you know, I can kind of angularly accelerate it over a long enough period of time. So what kind of, it's a question of, well, what assumption are we making that, um, um, what assumption are we making that this doesn't actually, like the end point, it cannot move faster than speed of light. So for a very long object, very long rigid object, what would you bring in and say, this is what we thought was right but is wrong. That's why the end point cannot move at speed faster than speed of light. Yeah, it's the assumption of rigid body. The, such a thing as a perfectly rigid body does not exist in special relativity. It's a question of you know, what keeps it rigid. The intermolecular forces, it's electromagnetic force. Those have a kind of propagation speed limit of speed of light. So when you get, so, so it, I guess let's put it this way. If I introduce a sudden change at this end, it uh, kind of disturbance here takes the speed of sound in this material to propagate to here. And um, speed of sound cannot be faster than speed of light, meaning whatever change I'm making at this end takes speed of light to propagate to this end. And for extended body, what it comes down to is there is no such thing as a rigid body in special relativity. All things are not rigid in special relativity. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's a material property, and there's a, like a maximum speed it can withstand, and yeah, yeah, before it breaks itself apart. Yeah, that's more related to the speed of sound in the material, but it's the same idea. 